close your eyes and watch your breath. Watch it all the way in, all the way out. And then with the next breath and the next, try to stay here with this one object. Because only when you're consistent this is going to make a change in the mind. Otherwise it's just one more thing to jump to and then jump away from. This mind spends all its time jumping around, checking this, checking that, wondering about this, forgetting that, running back again. And as a result, it doesn't see anything consistently, and it's hard to see what's causing what out there and what's causing what in here. So to see what's going on in the mind and see what's going on as the mind interacts with the world outside, you want to stay in one place and have that as your steady foundation. It's when you're steady and still, that's when you can see things, because you've got a point of comparison. Otherwise, if everything's moving, you don't know what's moving and what's not. You're running around, other people are running around, and you have no idea, well, is there any place that's not moving at all? You have nothing to compare the movements to. Is someone going in a good direction, a bad direction? If there's nothing to compare, you don't know. So you need something still, something reliable, something solid. And you develop that as you stay with the breath. The awareness, it's right here. You want to nurture that. You want to bring that to the fore. Usually it's in the background. It's there, but we don't pay much attention to it because other things seem to be a lot more interesting. But the background awareness, that's something you want to get in touch with and just be with it. Make that your foundation so you can see yourself clearly. Otherwise, other people tell you this. Your mind is like that. Your mind is like this. Other people tell you the opposite. You don't really know for sure because you've seen little bits and snatches that seem a little bit like this and a little bit like that. How are you going to know for yourself? You know, the Buddha gives you instructions. This is how you do it. He says that you test his teachings, but you have to test them by making yourself someone who can do a good test. So he gives instructions for that, too. And there are instructions that are good for everything in life, the ability to stay in one spot and watch things as they happen all the way from the beginning to the end. That's how you understand what's skillful and what's not, what things you should be developing and what things you should be abandoning, because you're in a re sitting in a reliable space. So you want to be a reliable person, find a reliable place for the mind to stay. That way you can begin to trust what you know.